Hello, doctor. Uh, my question pertains to the point you're talking about. My name is Naresh. And my question pertains to the point that you were making about intoxicants, small intoxicants, like you have in small quantities or big quantities, it's the same thing. It is an intoxicant. So how does it boil down to like smoking? Like it's a small intoxicant, like whatever high you have, it's for like five seconds, 10 seconds. How do I convince a Muslim friend of mine who says that it's a gray area? There's nothing like, uh, it's not permitted, but it's not uh, banned or it's not uh, totally not allowed as such. MashaAllah, our non-Muslim friend Naresh wants to convince his Muslim friend uh, that as, well. as far as smoking is concerned, he said what intoxicates in large quantity is prohibited in a small quantity that the Hadith of Beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sunnah Ibn Majah, volume number 4 in the book of intoxication. Book number 30, Hadith number 3392. But this, as far as smoking is concerned, all type of smoking is not intoxicants. But I know ganja, charas is intoxicant. So that falls in the intoxicants. But if it is not intoxicating, previously there was a fatwa amongst the shuks. There's a hadith which says that don't have onions because it smells. So when you go for salah, don't have onions, it has got bad breath. So based on that hadith, people used to say that smoking is makhru because it smells. Because of lack of knowledge of science. Today, we have come to know that tobacco in any form, smoking, chewing, etc., is the second largest cause of death. The first largest cause of death is alcoholism. Several millions of people die every year. It is the single largest cause of death. More than terrorism, more than war. Every year, millions of people die. The second largest cause of death is tobacco. According to World Health Organization, every year, more than 4 million people die only because of tobacco. Now, based on this, there's a verse of the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 195, which says, Do not make your own hands the cause of your own destruction. That means committing suicide or causing self-loss is prohibited. So based on this verse, today we come to know smoking is nothing but slow poisoning. So based on this verse today, there are more than 400 different fatwas from different parts of the world that smoking is haram, tobacco is haram. Only in India where I come from, there the scholars say makhru because many have tobacco, so they say makhru. But today, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, many parts of the world, there are more than 400 fatwas saying that smoking and tobacco in any form, nicotine is haram. So Islamically today, smoking is haram based on the verse of the Quran, Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 195, do not make your own hands the cause of your destruction. So tell this to your friend, give the reference of the Quran, inshallah he'll be convinced if he's a good Muslim. What you call is, there is no God except Allah.